Are you gonna tell me where you went? All the messages I sent with no reply It's like that You're just gonna walk into my Good morning, my kings and queens. Welcome to my channel, Goddess of Whispers. It's your girl, Karen, and I am so excited to welcome my Scorpios back to my channel. If you are a night watcher, welcome to our royal family. I do wanna let you know this is a general love reading. This reading may or may not resonate with all of my kings and queens, so take what does and leave the rest. If this reading does not resonate, please check with your sun, moon, rising, and Venus placements. Also, the energies or the roles in my readings may be interchangeable, so apply yourself as you see fit. Don't forget if this reading does resonate, don't forget to click like, share, subscribe, and click the bell so you can know when I will be uploading another video. And by you liking, sharing, and subscribing, it helps the channel out so, so much. And it helps to circulate the reading so you never know who can use this weekly message. So I want to say thank you in advance. And just really quickly, guys, don't forget your um, weekly does come with an extended. So there is two links in the description box below because in the extended, we dive deeper into the message. So what we don't uncover in the first half of the reading we will uncover in the extended okay to dive deeper so the two links below there's one option which is a membership option so for the same five dollars you'll be able to access all of my readings the extended for every reading that i've done um if you want to go down there and binge watch and check your other placements or if you're not wanting a membership option there's a one-time five dollar fee link which will allow you access to whatever reading you want to access that extended for okay all right let's dive in so we're doing things a little bit differently i have this deck that I've had for quite some time. It's a very unique deck, so I don't use it as quite as often, but the messages in this deck is very empowering. Um, I thought that would be great to do start off this week with empowerment. Sorry about that. So this deck here is called Wisdom of the House of the Night deck. Um, I figured, like I said, this would be very empowering um, to start your month off for the month of um, December. So what I like about this deck is sometimes you pull a message and the deck will require you to pull another card to um, clarify the message even further. So I love that about the deck. It brings some type of mystery to the reading. Love it. All right, so let's dive in and see what energies is coming in towards you this week. Um, we're going to channel these energies. Spirit, what's the energy here? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus to the highest light for the purest good. What's the energy here surrounding my collective, my Scorpios? What's the energy? Clarify further. What is it that they need to know this week to start their week for the month of December? What's the energies here? What's the energies here? What is it that they need to know? Clean and pure messages. What are they dealing with? What are they, what are the challenges? What do they have coming in? Let me know, spill the tea, spill the tea spirit. What's the energy, what's the energy? Thank you, thank you, thank you. So we have success. Ooh, love to start a reading off with that. We have wishing, okay, beautiful. We have fulfillment, ooh, interesting. And at the bottom of the deck, we have honesty. So let's dive into these energies and see what you are going to be faced with starting the month of December with uh, my fellow Scorpios. It's looking beautiful so far. So let me grab my book here. We're going to read the energy surrounding you. Like I said, I don't use this deck often, but I do want to make sure you guys get clean cut messages to start your month off. Okay. So we have here to start us off is the success card. You must celebrate now as I do for you have achieved success. Accomplish accomplishments are yours now and you are in a position to reap the rewards of your hard work. The symbol of success reminds you that hard work pays off. Being true to yourself and refusing to compromise while yield good things. Choosing the symbol is a wondrous sign that all is well in your life. The symbol requires you to keep working hard lest you lose the knowledge you have gained. Now is not the time for slacking off. Keep going and celebrate even the smallest victory. Be proud of yourself as I am proud of you. Remember, everything you choose now will come to be realized. Choose wisely so very strong energy here to start your week uh my scorpios this is all about believing in yourself pushing forward persevering and pushing through uh you know everything that you're doing is going to pay off in your favor so this is all about keep going don't give up you know continue to persevere and push through so if you're having doubts about maybe a business venture that you just started this is the spirit guys telling you hey keep going if you're having doubts about a relationship or maybe something that is, is transpiring in your romantic life you know spirit guides is letting you know keep going if you're feeling like okay now um maybe things are not working now in your favor in any dynamic this is the spirit guys letting you know keep going success is on the horizon for you okay let's dive into your next energy we have here wishing okay 
Let's see what that energy is all about. Let me give me, with me one minute here. So it says choosing the symbol means you are at a wonderful juncture in your life where imagination and preparation can align with the web of power. My dear one, I hear your prayers. I know your heart and I know what is for your highest good. Dreams do come true. Make sure your dream serves your highest purpose and does not take away from another. Be careful for what you wish for. Remember the coins tossed in a wishing well. For every wish there is a price to be paid. Are you ready to spend the time and energy that your granted wish will require? Now is the time um, your wish will be fulfilled. So if you are manifesting, this is all about you guys manifesting, maybe praying at night or pray, saying prayers and hopefully wishing for something to come to fruition for you, whether that's a new job, whether that's uh, starting a new business, whether that's a romantic um, interest you want to come back into your life, or whether it's a romantic interest you just want on, on a whole, you want to be in love with someone again. This is a spirit guides um, letting you know, you know, be careful what you wish for, because with every wish, there's there's a consequence um, with that, but make sure whatever you're wishing for is serving your highest good and your highest purpose. Okay. So take that as it resonates for some of you. So we have here fulfillment. This is, the, this is a beautiful reading to start my Scorpios. Wow. Let's go ahead and dive in. So we got fulfillment here. Okay. It says, this is a sign that all your needs are being met, that you are close to achieving your goal. Celebrate your choices at this time for you have drawn the symbol of fulfillment. Now is the time to in integrate and digest what you have learned of late. Savor every moment and know that every encounter is intended to feed your soul. You are meant to have a rich, satisfying life and taste all that experience has to offer. Look around and recognize all the ways that your life is already full. You have so many reasons to feel good about yourself. All is well and will be well when you choose fulfillment. Okay. So this is all about, you know, you, um, reaping everything that you've worked hard for. So everything is about to change for you is what I'm sending here um, to start off your month of December, things are going to start to come to fruition for you. All the wishes and your desires that you've been hoping for. I'm seeing these things coming to par for you. Okay. Um, I'm seeing the honesty card here. So this could require, you know, maybe you being honest with yourself or someone being honest with you. Um, let's dive in and see what that is all about. Okay. Um, so the honesty card, let's see where that is. And then we'll dive into your reading. We have here, my darling, you have chosen the symbol of clarity and true communication. Now is the time to be op op absolutely honest with yourself about what you want, what you're thinking about, what your motives and real feelings are. Honesty is the way to truly step into your power. When you choose honesty above all else as your goddess, I will send you courage to do what's right. This is also a time to demand honesty and integrity from others. You have the right to get clear messages there. Uh, clear messages. There is the greatest freedom and power is telling the truth. So this is a strong energy of, you know, definitely you could be feeling at this time, you know, maybe someone is not being honest with you, or maybe you're feeling you're not being honest with somebody or or it could just mean that you're not being honest with yourself about a situation or someone on a whole. Okay. So this is a very strong energy about, you know, you persevering and you pushing through. Okay. So let's dive in. Let's see what energies are surrounding you this week. Clarify further. What is this all about? This success, you know, wishes coming through, fulfillments being happening and honesty. Tell me more about the situation. What is coming in towards, uh, my fellow Scorpios this week? What's the energy surrounding them? Sun, moon, rising and Venus to the highest light for the purest good what's the energy here thank you thank you thank you all right so we have the king of swords okay we have the ten of pentacles we have the high priest okay interesting we have the nine of wands we have the strength card and then we have the eight of wands. Okay, so let's dive into the energies here that is surrounding you this week, my Scorpios. All right, so let's dive into the energies first. We have here King of Swords, so you could be dealing with a... Um, Aries, Leo, or I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. Let me get my thoughts together. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, Gemini, Libra here with the King of Swords. 
you could be dealing with the um, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra here with the King of Swords. Um, we also have the Three of Pentacles here and the High Priest. So the High Priest is the Hierophant card. So you could be dealing with the Earth sign, so Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You could also be dealing with the Leo here with the Strength card. Um, there's Fire Energy on the board. So Aries, Leo, Sagittarius is here as well. All right, so let's dive in and see what's going on, okay? Uh, at the bottom of the deck, we got the Nine of Swords and the Two of Swords. Okay, <clears throat> I'm sensing a very strong energy here with this Nine of Swords energy. There's definitely been um, someone here suffering in silence, someone here definitely in their heads about a situation that they feel like it's hard to push on or move past, okay, is what I'm sensing here. Um, but I'm sensing a very strong um, energy of you pushing forward and leaving something behind that you feel like no longer serves you, you know, with this two of wands energy. This is a strong energy of making a choice for the betterment of yourself. This is all about building yourself, pushing forward, um, and leaving the past behind. You're moving forward, no longer feeling like you need to be stuck in this energy. And I do can't help but to see right after that is the four of wands and the world card following that energy so this is all about completing cycles you know pushing through and and your ship starting to come in for you i'm seeing that things are going to start to change there's going to be something to celebrate here you know and this is going to um, come after you leave a particular situation behind or or um, leave a particular worry or stress behind you you know um, the world card is all about completion you know maybe going through the flow I've seen different cycles here. So you could have been going through some things and channeling different energies, you know, and different feelings and different emotions throughout this transition. But I'm definitely seeing you coming into this four wands energy, you know, being very happy in a situation. So we are going to dive in and see what exactly is transpiring here with you. But you're definitely leaving an energy behind that made you feel depressed, made you feel stressed out, caused a lot of high anxiety, but you are pushing forward. You could have been dealing with a... Um, um, uh, air energy uh, that brought on this energy towards you because we do have the king of swords energy but I'm not going to talk too quick and say this is the person that caused the situation because this could be new love coming in so let's dive in and see with the king of swords energy this is definitely someone who in a situation can be very cold in situation very detached um, you could be going through a divorce from this person um, you could be a single mother or a single father or take that as it resonates or maybe you have children with this person maybe this person cut you off in a situation or maybe you cut them off but this is a very strong energy this is all about someone who's very structured someone who seeks power in situations very self-disciplined you know but very also too very head over heart um, this person's also very intelligent so take that as it resonates as well they can be also be very strategic in situations we have the three of pentacles here Okay, three of pentacles can mean a various of things. This could mean third party situation, but then again, it could also mean partnering with someone, coming together with someone, and maybe working things out with someone. This could even mean maybe just focusing on yourself and working on yourself, building a better um, stance for yourself. I feel like it has a lot to do with you following your intuition in a situation when I see this cat in the picture here. So, that definitely, I feel like this is a strong energy of you, you know, stirring up some type of energy of realizing that you have everything that your heart desires you can bring anything you want to fruition for you it's almost like this person is conjuring up some type of you know potion of some sort but i would say this is a strong energy of you manifesting what you're truly wanting out of life you know not giving up on you with the high priestess pride priest card here this is a strong energy of in this deck is strongly about someone feeling like they're be being controlled by someone else you know me maybe needing to take back control of their life here in this energy um, this could also mean to being on a spiritual path or a spiritual journey as well going through some type of life lesson here in the situation but I sense very strongly here maybe this person you're feeling um, maybe had a, a, a tie to you maybe you're feeling stuck to this person and maybe needing to be more guarded towards this individual we do have the nine of wands here this is a strong energy of feeling like you need to protect your energy by any means necessary so you could be building strength in this situation or needing to you know guard guard yourself from this person maybe this person hurt you you know I see you being resilient now you know and focusing on you and your blessings and the things that you have coming to fruition for you you know we do have the strength card here like I said you could have been dealing with the Leo here so take it as it resonates but the strength card is all about building courage building strength you know facing your fears here but none 
more or less pushing forward, persevering, pushing through, you know, leaving this energy behind where you feel like you have to give away your power to people who don't deserve it. We have here at the end of the day, the eight of wands. Okay. The eight of wands is all about transition. It's about success. It's about movement. Okay. It could even mean communication coming in towards you as well. Um, but in this sense, I'm sending strong energy of you pushing forward, persevering and pushing through. I'm seeing you, you moving forward in your life here, maybe even travel or adventure is on the horizon here for you. So let's dive in and clarify these energies. Okay. Spirit, what's the energy um, circling my Scorpios this week? What is it that they need to know? Let me get a sip of coffee here, guys. Bear with me. All right, so what is the energy challenging my Scorpios this week? What is it that they need to know? Clarify the King of Swords, the Three of Pentacles, the High Priestess. Oh, a lot of energies is wanting to come out. The High Priestess. Oh, wow, the Knight of Cups. Interesting. So this could be new love on the horizon, guys. The High Priest, um, the Nine of Wands, the Strength card, the Eight of Wands. Clarify the energies circling my Scorpios this week. What's the energies? What's the energies to start off the month of December? Clarify further. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so we have the nine of wands. Wow. So you're guarding your energy and you're protecting your energy from someone in air energy. So Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. We also have here the nine of swords again. Yeah, so this could be you maybe stirring up some things. Maybe you're doing black magic on this person. You know, maybe because this person hurts you or maybe you're feeling like this person is doing black magic on you. You know, take that as it resonates. We have here the three of swords. So yeah, someone here is just very deeply hurt you know, is the energy that I'm sensing here. We have the three of swords clarifying that. I feel like someone in air energy hurt you. There's definitely clarity here being brought to the situation with the ace of swords energy, but as a very strong energy of you cutting someone off that you feel like no longer serves you. Okay. Then we have the strength card. This is, took a lot of strength for you to start a new beginning. And then we have the two of wands. Yeah. This is all about moving forward, planning your future at the bottom of the deck. We do have the page of cups. So that could mean love news that is coming in here towards you. Let's see what that is. Yep. So we have the king of pentacles and look at the same four wands showing up here you're going to be happy with someone in king of pentacles energy so earth energy i feel like it's coming in here towards you so take that as it resonates someone in earth energy is going to be uh, presenting some type of love offer towards you the page of cups is all about love news new love coming in on the horizon for you someone ready to express how they feel about you the four of wands is all about your happiness celebrating you know someone in this king of pentacles energy is definitely someone that is you know it's earth energy so taurus virgo capricorn but it's someone who is very generous, very loyal, someone who's dependable, someone who's a provider in situations, very mature, very um, strategic type of person as well. They're very wise. They seek stability in situations. This person is also very good with money. So a businessman, very career driven, very ambitious, very uh, ambitious, very motivating. So this is the type of energy that is coming in here towards you. So let's clarify further and see what, what is happening here. Look at that right after that is the 10 of cups. You're going to be very happy with this person coming in in this king of pentacles energy but let's dive into your energies here so someone here in air energy you're feeling that you need to guard your energy from this person okay so Aquarius Gemini Libra this is you here again with this nine of wands showing up this is you being resilient you side eyeing this person feeling like motherfucker I wish another motherfucker would <laughs> you understand what I'm saying so this is a strong energy that you're just like you know back up you know give me 10 feet <laughs> you know you are not feeling this person right now you know this is you um definitely focusing on yourself and building a better version of you but more, nonetheless you know putting that barrier between you and this person putting that bubble or that aura around you setting boundaries teaching people how to love you the right way we have here the ten of pentacles I'm sensing strong energy here. This is all about this person hurting you. The nine of swords is showing up here again. Look at that, guys. See that? Nine of swords, nine of swords. This is all about staying up at night. This person hurt you to the core. I feel like you feel like this person betrayed you, stabbed you in your back. Um, this person hurt you very, very deeply. But I'm also sensing an energy here of someone conjuring up some kind of, I don't know if I'm saying that word right, but someone here is is definitely dealing with some type of, you know, potions or uh, black magic or, you know, doing something to that retrospect here and take it as it resonates this is not all of you this is some of you but i'm sensing a very strong energy here someone here is definitely putting some type of soul tie on someone or you know maybe they've, they've done this to you take take it as it resonates 
but very strong energy here. Someone here is definitely very intuitive, um, also very psychic in that way, or, you know, just very, um, um, can also be a medium. Um, so take that as it resonates as well. But someone here is definitely writing their story, you know, um, definitely pulling things out of a hat here. <laughs> okay, if I may say so. We do have the high priest here. So like I said, I'm sensing that very strong energy with this high priest card. Someone here is very controlling, very manipulative in a situation, but I'm also sensing someone here having a strong, like a like strings you know like a, a puppet you know that kind of energy here you know someone here is definitely controlling a situation behind the scenes i'm seeing here with the uh three of swords energy this is definitely you see those strings someone has a tie to your heart or maybe you have you're putting a tie on their heart someone here got hurt very very deeply and is not taking that very lightly is the energy that i'm seeing here we have here the nine of wands and the ace of swords so yeah someone here got ghosted someone here got cut off from the situation in this energy so take that as it resonates definitely seeing this energy that someone feels like someone was not right for them someone was not serving their highest good so they needed to take back their power here and you know remove themselves from the situation you became very guarded towards someone in air energy aquarius gemini or libra so take that as it resonates or your person could have air energy in their chart look at the air energy uh, starting it's coming up here again we have the strength card which is a leo and then the full card which is air energy so aquarius gemini libra showing up i'm seeing that this is you needing to take the take a leap of faith here to move on from this person in ear energy this is you starting anew without them needing the strength to move on from this person and i feel like it's taking a lot out of you because the full card like i said is air energy showing up again but this is you needing the strength to move on from this person in this energy okay and starting over taking a leap of faith here you know um diving head first um to get away from the situation we have here again we have here the eight of wands and the two of wands didn't i say that's something to do with travel yeah i see you planning your future here look at the two of wands showing up here this is all about you the two of wands is all about you know planning your future moving on you know making a choice to uh better yourself here this is all about you moving forward and persevering and pushing through without this person in your life but i do see new love coming in so guys you're going to want to meet me in the extended we're going to dive uh, deeper into this reading and this energy that's coming in here towards you i want to see what is going to transpire here with this new love energy i want to know more about this king of pentacles and more so too i want to know what else is the next for you in the next chapter here after leaving this person behind i want to know more about this success and this wishing and what is all coming in here towards you all right guys i will see you in the extended till next time bye i guess you're back are you gonna tell me where you went all the messages i sent with no reply